What is up guys, Justin here with my garage sale pickups from this past weekend. Uh, it ended up being a really good Friday at the garage sales and uh, just an okay Saturday. Uh, but overall still a really solid weekend. Uh, I got a ton of stuff to show you guys here so let's hop right into this with the first find from Friday morning. Actually just right down the street from here. I uh, walked up there and they had a copy of Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix for the PlayStation 3 for $1. Uh, it's the only game they had there. It was an older couple. I guess it was their daughters or something. Um, so I got that for a dollar. Um, moving on to the next finds though, this this whole thing kind of has an interesting story to go along with it. Um, we drove up to a sale. I asked about game stuff. The lady said, you know, no, I don't have any here, but there's a sale going on a couple houses down. You should go ask there because I know they have a bunch of video game stuff. So drove down there quick and uh, initially just ended up picking up this uh, Miss Pac-Man plug and play here uh, for two dollars. But as I was paying for this, um, I asked the lady, uh, you know, do you have any video game stuff you're looking to sell, anything older? And she's like, yeah, you know, we do have a ton of that stuff. Um, my husband has this whole big Sega setup, and as she's explaining it to me, um, I'm clearly expressing interest. So she was like, you know what, my son's in the house. If you want to go in, he can show you the stuff. So go into this house. Underneath their pool table, they have five huge boxes. One of them was labeled Atari 2600. One of them was labeled Nintendo 64. One of them was labeled uh, GameCube Wii, and there was two that were labeled Sega. So the kid opens up the Sega boxes, and this is what I saw. The Dutchman's Treasure! Wow. So all I'm going to tell you guys is that I did not end up getting that Sega stuff that morning. Uh, but stay tuned for what will probably be my next pickup video. There may or may not be some Sega stuff in that video. So I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Um, as for the rest of the stuff, um, the kid really didn't want to sell a lot of it. Um, but I did get him to sell me his extra Nintendo 64 system. Um, he had two of them, so he sold me this extra one. Uh, just had the power cord with it. Um, but he did sell me these one, two, three, four, five games with it. Of course, he kept all his good games. He kept his Smash Bros, his, his Snowboard Kids, Donkey Kong, Mario Kart. Um, but he sold me Quest 64, uh, Turok, Turok 1, Super Mario 64, surprised he didn't hang on to that one, uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, and Pokemon Stadium. So he was asking $30 for that N64 stuff, which that's a fair price. Um, and then as for like the Wii and GameCube stuff, uh, he picked out this stack of games and said he would sell them for a dollar each. Um, they're pretty much all crap with the exception of, I guess, Wave Race I'll show on the top there. Um, but the rest of these were, I don't know, I'll just show them quickly here, the spines of them, because they were nothing too good. But um, there was, yeah, there was 11 games there, um, plus the 30 for the system. He sold everything to me for $40. Um, so I'm glad I stopped, glad I asked, and as I mentioned, I will, um, I'll get back to that, that Sega stuff in my next video. So... Because I had spent so much time looking at stuff um, at that sale, I was way behind schedule um, for another sale that I wanted to get to that I knew was going to have um, a PS2 in games and a Wii in games. Well, luckily, um, I raced over there and they still had everything, so I ended up getting this uh, tricked out uh, PS2 system here. It's got the network adapter on the back of it. And uh, that only came with um, a couple games in there. Um, ATV Off-Road Fury 2 and Johnny Mosley Mad Tricks. A couple disc-only games on top, Ratchet and Clank, Gran Turismo 4, and Call of Duty. Big red one. Um, but yeah, the system, I mean, it had the cords and controllers here for it. And they're only asking $10 for the uh, PS2 stuff, so that was kind of a no-brainer purchase. And then here's the Wii system I got here. Um, this was incredibly dirty. When I caught it, it was the most disgusting Wii system I've ever seen, but uh, it cleaned up all right. Um, came with the uh, cords here. It didn't have a sensor bar. The sensor bar it came with was actually ripped in half, so I already kind of tossed that. Um, but yeah, there was, a, there was a nunchuck in here and a off-brand Nyko controller and an original Wiimote with the Motion Plus on there. And then the games it came with, actually quite a few games here, um, which... Again, nothing special with the exception of uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Um, I think the rest of these, though, I'll probably just show in a big stack here. There's half of them. Um, and then the other half quickly here. Nothing too special. Family, you know, like game show ones and some Just Dance ones. 
Um, so they're asking $30 for that um, Wii bundle, which I guess just for the sheer amount of games it came with uh, made it a decent deal. Um, but they did have a couple other game stuff or game items elsewhere at that sale uh, for the GameCube, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4, Super Monkey Ball 2, and Madden 11 for the Xbox. They also had, if I can reach it, um, this Guitar Hero controller for the Wii. Um, so I, I grabbed those extra things and I said, hey, you know, if I pay the full 40 for the rest of the stuff, would you throw in these games for free? And she said, sure. So um, I got those thrown in for free, $40 for everything at that sale. Um, after that, I ended up at, um, it was it's an annual sale. It's like a local um, pet shelter organization. They do this sale every year. And I walked in there and I spotted a copy of Guitar Hero 5 for the PS3. And I was like, do I want to buy it? I don't know. So I picked it up and I, I'm walking around and then I come across um, the guitar for it sitting elsewhere. So I was like, okay, um, you know, it's a PS3 guitar, um, didn't have the sensor or anything. But then I looked at another table and sitting on the table was this Wii Fit board and a couple Wii games, Wii Fit Plus and Tiger Woods 08. And I was like, I don't really need the Wii Fit board. But the only reason I bought it is because taped onto it, I should have left it taped on there for you guys, but it was kind of falling off. Um, taped on there were, were the feet for the, the Wii Fit board, but it was the sensor, the dongle, for that Guitar Hero guitar, which I knew these, this just by itself goes for like $25, $30 uh, without the guitar. So rather than try and bring it up there and explain, you know, hey, this goes with this, this actually goes with this, how much do you want for this, how many, I was like, you know, I'm just going to make an offer on everything, and um, I offered $10 for all that, and they took it. Um, so after that, I had um, just enough time to hit up a few more sales, kind of over where I had to be at work. And it seemed like every sale that I stopped at had game stuff. It was just nothing really that good. Um, there was one sale I stopped at, they had a stack of Xbox uh, games. There was like eight or ten of them. Um, there was a couple sports ones and a couple like demo discs. One or two of them were disc only. But I grabbed these six of them here. Um, nothing special, I'll just show them quickly. I got the six of those for five dollars. Um, they also had a four gigabyte 360 system at the sale, still in the box and everything, but they were asking a hundred dollars for it. So that was an easy pass. Um, wound up at another sale and grabbed a copy of Minecraft for the Xbox One. Uh, I think this is the first Xbox One game or Xbox One anything that I've ever purchased from a garage sale. So it was the first time for everything I guess. Um, that was five dollars. They also had a couple PS2 games like some Jack and Baxter games but they were really beat up so I passed on those. And I think that was all I found for Friday morning. Um, however, while I was at work Friday um, I got a message back from a lady that I had contacted the night before um, and she said, uh, originally told me they didn't have any game stuff but then she said she found some game stuff and their sale was actually going on Friday night. So um, right after work I raced over there. Um, she was nice enough to kind of hold, put the stuff aside for me until I got there and ended up getting a Atomic Purple Game Boy Color for $5. Uh, it's got one of these Game Boy or these rubber protectors on it. Still has a battery cover. Screen looks to be in uh, pretty good shape. So for five dollars, that was sweet. Um, this was even better though. A PS2 Slim um, with the cords and uh, memory card. Also for five dollars. Um, no controller, but I can't complain for five dollars. Um, and then she also had some miscellaneous games. Um, funny enough, the only GameCube game she had was Wave Race. So <laughs> I got the copy of uh, Wave Race earlier, or if I can find it, earlier in the morning, <laughs> and then uh, I got the one, so two copies of Wave Race in the same night, same day, um, and then she had, I guess I'll just show these off quickly, um, Super Mario Galaxy at the bottom there is the only one of note, but um, they were, these were dirt cheap, they were anywhere from a quarter to a dollar each, so the total ended up being $19 at that sale. Um, I just gave her a 20 and said, you know, thanks for thanks for setting the stuff aside for me. Um, anyway, though, that was all I got um, on Friday. So pretty sweet Friday. Um, Saturday was not quite as um, filled with games, but um, let me clear myself some room here and I'll show you guys what I got. So the first sale that I stopped at on Saturday was the infamous sale that I found the Pikachu N64 at. 
so many summers ago. Uh, I haven't found anything good there since then, but I did manage to find this uh, Wendy's Kids Meal toy still sealed here. So we got Super Mario Advance. Uh, I don't even know what it is. I think it's like a mini board game or something. So that was uh, 50 cents. And the next sale we stopped at, um, I had seen a picture of on Facebook the night before. And in one of the pictures, I saw one lone NES game sitting on a table. Uh, so I went there to pick it up. Uh, it was a copy of Tetris. I figured they might have more, and they didn't really. Um, but sitting next to this was a copy of Super Mario Land for the Game Boy. So kind of random, but I got, um, got them for a dollar each. So two dollars there. Um, the next sale I stopped at, I w wound up picking up this PlayStation 1 bundle here. Um, the lady had it, you're probably not going to be able to read it, it's a pencil on that tape there, but she had it marked for $10. Um, I tried so hard to get her down on the price because, you know, didn't have the AV cord, tried to use that, um, didn't have any games with it, wasn't, you didn't know if it worked or not, but she wasn't budging off the $10, so just because it had two, like, the DualShock controllers, um, I went ahead and paid the, the $10 for that. Um, a few sales later, I found some PlayStation stuff, stack of PSP games here, uh, MX vs. ATV, on the Edge, Twisted Metal Head-On, Madden 11, MLB 09 The Show, and Sonic Rivals. Um, they also had a God of War Origins collection for the PS3. So six games there. I got them for a total of $5. Um, and then quite a few sales later, <laughs> there was a sale that had um, some individually priced like Xbox and 360 games, um, a few Wii games. Nothing good, but I grabbed a couple of the dollar ones they had there. Uh, Lego Harry Potter used 5 through 7, and Conflict of Desert Storm for the original Xbox. And then nearing the end of the day at this point, um, walked up to a sale and, you know, just got another Wii. I uh, got my second Wii for the weekend, probably the sixth or seventh one that I picked up at the garage sales uh, this summer so far. Uh, let's see, what did it come with? It came with a uh, controller, nunchuck, cords, uh, sensor bar, sensor bars down here. And uh, it actually came with a Wii Fit board as well. I got the feet to prove it. I think the board is still in my car. I'm not going to show another one of those, but yeah, I had the manuals and Wii Fit Plus with it. Um, this was like a kind of a make and offer sale for charity, so I gave them the most I would have paid for it, which is $20. They seemed happy to take that. Um, I didn't want to lowball them because it was like some charity thing or whatever. So $20 though, um, not a bad deal. Um, and then we rolled over to there's consecutive sales that I found random PlayStation stuff at. Um, the first one had this stack of games here. They're all really beat up. Um, I'm, I'll try to show them individually. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, that was the best one. Um, Pro Pinball, Mobile Rally Championship, Test Drive, Off-Road 3, FIFA 99, Dukes of Hazard, Racing for Home, and I guess that was the last one. I think there's two of them in there. <laughs> um, so 50 cents each on those. Um, I also grabbed this like laser lens cleaner thing from that sale. I don't know if I'll ever use this for anything or if they even work, but Whatever, it was 50 cents, so like $3.50 at that sale. The very next sale I stopped at randomly had these two PlayStation games, uh, Final Fantasy IX, which I know it had all four discs. It does not have the manual, but it does have all four discs in there. And then they had um, discs only for Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy XII. Um, so I paid $2 uh, for that stuff. And then one of the last sales we stopped at for the day, um, they actually had another Wii system. It was a black Wii system. They were asking $40 for it. And I was like, eh. I don't, you know, for one, I don't need another one, even though I, I, I've never owned a black Wii system, but I wasn't going to pay $40 for it. Um, I picked up Sonic Riders Zero Gravity for the Wii for uh, $0.50, cents, which they sharpied on there. That should come off, though. And then they had, for $0.25, cents, a DS Lite charger. Um, I offered 20 for the Wii. I thought for sure she was going to take it. It was so late in the day at this point, but she said she'd come down to 30 and wasn't budging off of that. So I, I had to walk away from my third Wii, of, or what would have been my third Wii for the weekend. But anyway, that's all I got on Saturday. Um, kind of underwhelming for, uh, we were out for f at least four hours, if not a little longer than that. So even though I did get some stuff, um, it was nothing too great and nothing compared to what I got on Friday. But anyway... Stay tuned for my next video coming up here. Like I said, might have some Sega goodness to show you guys. Uh, thank you for sticking around and checking out this video. And until next time, take care.